So you found your story, you have your audio and camera settings just right, and you're ready to shoot. Now what do you do? One of the most important elements in filmmaking and photography is composition, or how the image is composed in the frame. In this lesson, we're going to look at four major areas of shot composition. The rule of thirds, lead space or looking room, headroom, and background. Let's start with the rule of thirds. Every image can be divided into thirds horizontally and vertically, creating a tic-tac-toe type configuration with nine boxes. The human eye finds images most pleasing when the subject or objects in a frame fall in one of the intersecting lines. If we look at both of these interview images with the grid of thirds overlaid, we can see the one on the left that is centered exactly in the frame isn't as interesting as the one on the right that has our subject's eye on one of the intersecting thirds. Now let's take a look at something called lead space or looking room. In this close-up of our character looking to the left, you can see that their nose is practically touching the left edge of the screen and there's lots of space behind their head. It looks awkward. If we look at the same shot, but this time give our subject some space in the frame in front of where they're looking, it looks much more natural. Now, let's look at headroom. In this first shot of our character's face, there's lots of extra room at the top of the frame. Now, look at the same shot framed up without all that space at the top. It looks much better, doesn't it? Always keep an eye on the bottom of the frame, as well as making sure that you aren't cutting your subject off at an awkward part of their body, such as their knees. If you're following your rule of thirds, you should avoid extra headroom. Finally, let's talk about background composition. You should be aware of what your background is contributing to your image. Does it overpower your subject by being too busy? Is it too flat and boring? Maybe you could put something in the foreground that frames the shot slightly to give it more depth. Also, be sure that something in your background isn't appearing to grow out of your subject's head like a lamp or a wire. If it is, adjust accordingly. Another thing to think about are lines in your image and shooting at an angle. Let's look at this shot of someone walking through a frame on a sidewalk that's perfectly horizontal. Then let's look at the same scene shot with the sidewalk at an angle moving away from us. See how much more dynamic the angle is? Your subject starts small, then gradually gets larger as they walk toward the camera. This adds an interesting three-dimensionality to the shot. Sometimes, just taking a step or two to the right or left can take your shot from dull to dynamic. You can also look at shooting on different planes. Shooting everything from the same height can be repetitive and boring. But if you change it up by shooting your subject from a low angle or a high angle, you'll create a much more interesting visual effect. So always keep those composition tips in mind as you shoot. The rule of thirds, lead space or looking room, headroom and background. 